Hello everyone, Douglas here, and welcome to my classic Doctor Who review, and today I will be reviewing Planet of Giants. This story is the season 2 opening story, and this is another story I have not seen before. This story is the first one to be written by Lewis Marx. This story also has the Doctor and his companions going small, but I will explain it. This story was supposed to be the first story, but it was rejected. This story is the first story to have three episodes, and this story is the first to be directed by Douglas Camfield, but he only directs episode three. In episode one, called Planet of Giants, we are inside the TARDIS, and we see the first Doctor, played by William Hutnell, Barbara, played by Jacqueline Hill, Ian, played by William Russell, and Susan, played by Carol Ann Ford. We see Susan is checking the font locator and we hear an alarm, and it's a yellow standby, and the doors open, and we see Ian, Barbara, and Susan closes the doors. We see the TARDIS lands, and we find out from Susan that there isn't a fault anywhere, not even a yellow standby. We see the doctor turns on the scanner and we see an explosion. We find out from the doctor that the reason why the doors opened because the space pressure was far too great whilst they were materializing. We see Barbara notices something and it's a giant earthworm. We see Ian and Susan see eggs and we see an ant and we find out the doctor and his companions have shrunk. Honey, I shrunk the TARDIS! We find out they are outside of a house. We see Ian hides in a matchbox and he is taken. We see Ian comes out of the matchbox and notices a man is already dead. We see Ian is reunited with the doctor, Barbara, and Susan and Ian tells them what happened. At the end of episode 1, we see the doctor and his companions encounter a cat. In episode 2 called Dangerous Journey, we see the Doctor and Susan go through a drain pipe. We see Ian and Barbara see test tubes, and they are at a lab. We find out from Ian that they are making an, an insecticide. We see Ian opens a briefcase, and we see Barbara notices a fly. We see the Doctor and Susan are in a sink. We hear water is coming from the faucet. And they pull the drain plug, and that is the end of episode 2. In episode 3, called Crisis, we see the Doctor and Susan got away from the water into an overflow pipe. We see that Barbara thinks the Doctor and Susan drowned. We see the Doctor and his companions discover a formula. The scene I found entertaining that even with the Doctor and his companions are small, that they are making a phone call. We see Barbara is not feeling well, and she has the insecticide. We see the doctor and his companions are starting a fire, and it's going to explode. And we see the doctor takes a seed. We see the doctor and his companions are back at the TARDIS, and the doctor is going to repeat what happened. We see the TARDIS takes off, and the seed shrinks, and they are back to normal. We see the TARDIS scanner is not working. And the TARDIS is landing, and that is the end. I will admit, this story is very interesting, and it has really good imagination, and the sets are really good, and there are good production values in this story. The cast is good, the script by Lewis Marx is good, and the direction by Mervyn Penfield and Douglas Campfield is good, and I would give this story a 9 out of 10. So that is my review of Planet of Giants. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and if there is a classic Doctor Who story you want me to review next, leave it in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.